Hello, Pickles. Sorry about the quality. Just laying in bed, relaxing. Jasmine's over there drinking a Pepsi. I wish she was dressed so I could uh, show how adorable she is more, but we are watching Shake It Up. Saw a tweet that was like, Shake It Up has no rewatch value, so I'm rewatching it to see before my Disney Plus cancels, so. We are enjoying ourselves. Um, Nick made waffles for breakfast for everybody, the five people in the house. And Jasmine is working that drink. But yeah, I'll check in with you guys later when we're actually active and doing stuff. We just woke up this morning, it's actually only noon. Push the straw down for this one if you want. What a crazy. Anyways, um, we don't really have much on the agenda today. I went in the shed and found a couple of diapers, size four and two T. So I'm gonna see if the two T's fit on Jasmine later. And um, I filmed uh, two custom requests earlier, but I also went live last night and I need to film a YouTube video for you guys for tonight. So I'm on it, like loop on it. You can't find the mailbox key. Well, I don't know where it is. You're the one who always checks the mail and you're always trying to freaking blame me for stuff going missing. And really, I think it's you all along. So we pickles are going to my parents' house for dinner. Um, Jasmine included, she's just not in the room. And um, I just got her dressed. We're just looking for the mailbox key so we can check the bills. Um, love looking at the sonograms. Actually, those are Jazz's toes. And that's Jazz's first sonogram, and then a couple more for sonogram. So the house is just decked with stuff. These are my pregnancy tests. This one was for Jasmine. Sorry, it's so hairy and gross. And this one was for my current pregnancy. And I took these at the exact same time because you would notice they're the exact same test. Welcome back to Sid's Corner. That was a lot cornier than I thought it was gonna be, but that's fine, Pickles. We are in the ASMR room, the office, the setup, but I'm here in Sid's Corner right now. I just wanna show you guys um, a couple of signs that I kind of felt like I was having twins um, pre-first ultrasound. So first, I was peeing like crazy. I t I'm not even kidding when I tell you I was peeing every 15 minutes to an hour. So like it was every hour or every 15 minutes within the hour, like sort of like that vibe. Sometimes I would be spared by a nap or eight hours of sleep where I didn't have to pee every 10 seconds, but I am still woken up out of my sleep for peeing. And this is like week six, seven of pregnancy. Not even, not even far. Like this is, this kind of stuff is supposed to happen after week nine, to be honest. But each pregnancy is different and unique and beautiful, so whatever. Another sign, aside from frequent urination, the vomiting was out of control. The vomiting is still out of control. I am just a day or so over nine weeks and I am throwing up out the wazoo. I threw up yesterday, I threw up today. I've thrown up like at least 20 times since I found out I'm pregnant and it's only been a couple of weeks. So long story short, sometimes I'm throwing up twice a day, three times a day. Sometimes I'm throwing up once every day. Sometimes I have two days, everything's fine. I'm just nauseous a little bit. And then I'll throw up again and I'm like, so <clears throat> yes guys there were periods where I would get really nauseous and not throw up for a day or two and then it would come right back like on schedule so that was really annoying and that was number two the frequent nausea like I feel like the throwing up was worse than the nausea because like even if I was nauseous and I was too nauseous to eat so I got super hungry and then being hungry made me nauseous <gasps> even when I was that max nauseous I'm like okay I'm really suffering, but this was like week five or six or something. It was right after I found out I was pregnant. It was like that first week, a couple days after I found out. I had like the worst three days ever where I couldn't eat a thing. And um, it was absolutely horrible. Like I, like I cannot stress how bad it is to be so nauseous that you cannot eat, so hungry that you're nauseous, and then you're also tired, but you're so hungry you can't sleep, and then you're uncomfortable because you have to pee every 10 seconds. So yeah, it was just horrible, horrible. And that's only three of the things I was feeling prior to my first doctor's appointment, which was at my eight week, um, like on the dot. 
so it was crazy i was already feeling those three things and then on top of that my like i don't want to say my mood swings were going crazy but i was definitely a little bit on like the meaner more ruthless side i mean i like being on the more meaner more ruthless side not as like a negative person but just real like people don't like being real i like being real because sometimes the real is going hurt so long story short if people get hurt by the real it's not my fault it's just real so if my little snarkiness or rudeness came out i kind of noticed it but i didn't stop it i'm like okay she she break she break i'm gonna let her slide but this was like pre-pregnancy test and a little after the pregnancy test because after i realized i took a pregnancy test and i was pregnant i was like okay let's let me just calm down and try to just like relax let me let this fatigue take over and just sleep and rest and um really not do too much so i was just laying in bed getting my rest up I, I take a nap every single day now whereas well okay i didn't take a nap yesterday but i frequent a nap and usually i don't so it's like i'll watch my husband sleep take his little midday nap and then his second midday nap and i'll be fine i'll be up and i have insomnia so i'll be up late but i have been sleeping i have been tired i don't want to say i've been slacking but i've been resting so that's also been a factor a lot of just sleeping and i don't want to say it's fatigue or necessarily exhaustion but it's definitely a sign because i don't normally sleep this much like usually i can power through so those were i think four or five signs that things were definitely double trouble and then when i went to the ultrasound obviously the monitor, you know, showed me the baby. I was like, okay, great. I was worried, you know, something might be wrong because I was so sick. And then the baby was fine. And then the OB lady panned over and she's like, here's the second one. I'm like, the what? So double the bills, long story short. So if you would like to send me anything from my baby registry or my Amazon wish list, the link is in the bio. You can send me stuff and I'm gonna open it all on my vlog that is for um, the baby shower, well, gender reveal baby shower vlog. Uh, it'll all be opened on that vlog. So it'll be great, it'll be fun. Hopefully you guys send me stuff. So hit the links in the bio, the registry is there. Um, aside from that guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's JDASMR with two R's. That's where I try to keep y'all updated on the day to day. But like I said, I'm I am about to head over to my parents' house. That is why this vlog is a little bit more of like a just a chit chat haha. And um, we're gonna check in with Jasmine very soon. Um, I hope y'all are having a great day or night, Pickles. I am doing great. I just threw up before I started filming this. Um, and I ate a prenatal. So I was like, okay, I already threw up. So I'm gonna eat a prenatal because if I eat a prenatal on an empty stomach, I might throw up. But I figured since I just threw up, it's way less likely. So I'm going over to my mom's for dinner. I'll just eat there. But I have to wait before I eat, after I throw up anyway. So I'm like, I'm gonna go eat your prenatal. So anyway, the people who get sick from their prenatals know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I sound kind of crazy and I sound kind of nasally. Pregnancy is also making me very nasally and I, my immune system has been down. So a seventh or sixth sign is I got sick really, really quick. Like while I was trying to conceive, I kept getting sick back to back to back. And I'm like, I kept getting sick, like sick, like sniffly, sneezy coffee until I started vomiting, which is like when I knew I was actually pregnant. So yeah, my immune system just completely lowered and I feel like I was just a lot weaker. So that also happened, guys. I, I didn't wanna leave that one out, my last little tidbit. So uh, yeah, the title of this video is gonna be signs that I thought I was having twins and you know if you get this far in the video put avocado toast is life in the comments even though I don't like avocado toast I don't even like avocados don't hate on me um yeah y'all can keep your guac don't hate on me just put avocado toast is life in the comments because we don't discriminate over here we don't so uh long story short guys I will see y'all in a flip We about to play visit or nice. They finally, they finally got the good season back. Yeah, yeah. Thank goodness Fortnite went back to where it should be and where it needs to stay. Uh, but it's only staying for like a month, I think, according to Nick. So I'm yeah. just very devastated. We're gonna play bills and have a good time before we gotta go to dinner. I don't know what time, but Jazz is dressed already. Good. We all literally just need to get in the car at this point. So um, yeah. See you, pickles on the flip. Alrighty, just need my water and get Jasmine.
You have the car keys? Okay, I'm gonna get her some juice. Her shoes are on, everything's on. Oh, I know it doesn't seem like much because we're same location, but we just got back from my mom's house. We were there for like almost two hours. We had Philly cheesesteaks and chips and soda and apple pie and stuff. Nick decided to give me attitude for playing with the kids over there, but he's like, you're going to stress out the babies. Meanwhile, he stresses me out every single day and doesn't give a care at all. But when I'm playing with babies, he cares. So, yeah, I also wanted to let y'all know that another early uh, symptom I had that I thought I had twins was the... Uh, like just my lowered immune system. I got super sick right before I got pregnant, like not vomiting sick, but like sick, sick, nasally nose and all that stuff, coughing, sneezing. And then a couple weeks later, I started throwing up, which I knew I was pregnant, but long story short, my immune system was just so lowered. I don't remember getting sick before I got pregnant with Jasmine, but that's how everything went down. Hanging out with my parents was fine. They actually had some guests over there. My mom's coworker who I met multiple times before and her husband and they had their little litter of kids. Uh, one of the kids is one year older than Jasmine, and the other two are like five years older than Jasmine. So they were all running around having a good time. One of their kids' names is actually Sydney. So, the Sydney squad. But I'm about to film a YouTube video custom- not- uh, not a custom, excuse me, I'm gonna film a YouTube video for tonight. So it comes out and you guys can enjoy. So, I will see you pickles later skaters. Um, I have got to get myself together now for the ASMR. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Don't forget, um, you guys can tune into my vlogs, my ASMR, my live streams. I am here all the time. So, see you on the flip. Oh, here's the ultrasounds. Hopefully the babies do good. I heard some horror stories of people who lost their babies at 12 weeks or 16 weeks and I'm only nine weeks, so. We shall see, we shall see. With Nick as my husband, I'm guaranteed to probably lose one or two, but we'll see. Thanks for tuning in, Pickles. Catch yeah, you later. Talking about it. See you later, Pickles. <laughs>